and organizers, community leaders and parents flocked to Bertie High School earlier to discuss an issue that many children and students are facing. Stephen Glover reports that leaders met in Bertie County on ways to erase the stigma of getting free meals for school children who are hungry. There's no plays or live performances here at the auditorium in Bertie High School, but a serious discussion that impacts children. Two panels were held today by town hall community leaders and organizations for parents who are concerned on their children going to hungry, especially at school. One grandmother who is raising four of her grandchildren says that child hunger goes way beyond party lines. That several of my grandchildren go hungry every day, and I as a grandmother, it breaks my heart. I cannot continue to try to decide which one of my grandchildren isn't going to eat that day. It's we're struggling day to day to be able to get by with the basics. The School Meals for All NC is a statewide coalition that believes every child deserves to have breakfast and lunch provided by their school at no cost to their family. The goal today for School Meals for All NC is to gain support, educate parents, and convey to lawmakers issues of childhood hunger across North Carolina. And hungry kids can't learn. So when our children are in schools and they don't have access to breakfast and lunch, they're not able to meet their fullest potential. They are not able to thrive in and out of the classroom as they should. So we want to make sure that they are able to have breakfast and lunch at no cost. Experts say many students who receive no cost school lunches are sometimes ashamed to eat lunch due to the stigma. One ambassador says that there's nothing wrong for asking for help. It just means that you know what your needs are, you know that it's a necessity, and you're doing what it takes to get it. So please don't ever let anyone shame you for wanting to receive that help because at the end of the day, it's going to help you. It's the next town hall meeting will be held in Pasquotank County on Friday. In Bertie County, Stephen Glover, WITN News. In the town hall he mentioned will be at 1230 p.m. at Elizabeth City State University.